just thought I'd jump on here and just show you really quick some Christmas finds and I have a little bit of a Tuesday morning haul for y'all. I say little because it's not quite as big as I used to haul, but um, you know, it's it's getting there. I'm finding things. Had to go to two locations. I, I mean, I prefer to just go to one, but it's it's okay. At least they're bringing in stuff and I'm grateful that, you know, mine didn't close down. But before we get to Tuesday morning, I have two Hobby Lobby. Look at these little puffy houses. I got them because of the colors, right? Like the pinks and the somewhat little purples and just different kinds of greens. And it would go really well with all of the crepe paper collections and simple stories. Just really, real cute. 50% um, off. And then I thought this was great. I don't know how they do that. Like this has 32 pieces and this has 27 pieces. And I even saw another sticker sheet that had 16 pieces and it was all the same price. Hmm. I just, I don't get that, but whatever. I just love again, the colors of this, the pinks and the greens and the reds. They're just more non-traditional. Now these are on foam and they are a little bit dimensional maybe a little bit too much than i would like and i thought oh i could just tear off the card stock part but it's on there like really on there so if you're okay with it wrinkling it up then okay but if you're not like me i'm not i think it damages it a little too much um i'm just gonna have to just deal with the bulkiness you know, I mean, it's not too, too bad, I guess. But this would be great for Happy Mail. You like that chunky dimensional to your project. All right. Now, Tuesday morning. I'm going to show you the non-crafty stuff first. This, it's, oh my goodness, it's premium heavyweight white bond paper. And I got this because my daughter has a art easel. And we ran out of this roll where you just you know, roll it down and she gets to paint. And they're quite expensive. Even on Amazon, they're a bit much. But two rolls for eight bucks. And look how much you get. Oh my goodness. Yes. Had to get it. Had to get it. Anyways, just putting it out there in case maybe your kid has an art easel and you need to refill the roll. <laughs> so exciting, guys. Look. For the hot chocolate. I am a huge hot chocolate fan. I love hot chocolate Christmas time. Um, I want to do a hot cocoa bar this year, but we'll see. Look, I kind of got myself like a little um, advent. And this was the only one I saw at my Tuesday morning. And um, when I went to one a little further away, they had more cocoa stuff. But Anyways, it was $8, original price $12.99, and I don't think that's too bad, though it would have been cool if it was 50% off. But anyway, that's going to be yummy. That's going to be interesting. That's going to be yummy. That's going to be sweet. Sweet. You know, the usual. I love peppermint hot cocoa. How do you say that? Amaretto? I don't even know what that is. <laughs> But I'm going to try it. Cinnamon, that's going to remind me of home. Hazelnut, I have a friend who just would go nuts over hazelnut. He just loved hazelnut in his coffee, in his cocoa. Anyways, that reminds me of him. Toasted marshmallow, that sounds delicious. And the gingerbread, that sounds really good. I'm just so excited. <laughs> so anyway, I never do that. I never do something like that for myself. And so I just thought, oh lord, just do it. Here we have... A gingerbread village. I don't know how much these go for. Like, I don't know how much gingerbread house costs at Walmart. My daughter just turned four, so we're just going to start doing this. And I thought this would be great. So that way my husband can do one, I can do one, and then she can do one one Saturday and then the next Saturday. If you have three or more kids, this is perfect. Cause I know usually they just sell one big one and then everybody just decorates that one big one. But this is perfect if you want little individual ones for your kids and for only $8.50. Like I think that's great. 
and it comes with the candy already because I thought I was going to have to just buy this part and then I thought you had to buy the candy and the frosting and everything but no this this is a kit and hopefully it's not broken because my daughter was so excited and just kept looking at it and touching it and I was like you're gonna break it <laughs> Anyways, okay, so that's for the non-crafty thing. And then what I found was this album. It's for $4.99. And really, really, it's a Christmas cards to put in all the Christmas cards you get. Um, Christmas cards, like, I, I hardly got any last year. And it's not because I don't know people. <laughs> They're just becoming less and less popular. Oh, do y'all still do Christmas cards? I do. I know I said I was going to do that mini Heidi Swap album that I got in my Happy Mail. But the more I looked at it, the more it's it's too flat. Like, I literally could not put any type of dimensional anything in it. Um, the, what do they call this right here? Like, it's this much, right? And so I was thinking, oh, that's, that's not going to work. So I'm probably going to have to buy an album. But then I went to Tuesday morning and they had this. And I have the punch for this. So it's going to be perfect. Right? This was $4.99. These already come self-adhesive, which is great. Especially if I just want to, like, uh, maybe if I do something on my silhouette, like a cut file, I can just already just put it on there. I already got the adhesive on there. Right? Super cool. Or I can use those as templates. It comes with these dividers. I might use that one. I don't like this one. <laughs> um, so this one's cute. I'll probably use the follow blah one. That's cute. That one's okay. I'm not a huge fan of this very light green where it almost looks lime green. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of that. But I'll use that side for sure. So anyways, yay! So the front is just uh, plain. I love that embossing. So I think I'm gonna paint it white and maybe seal it with some Mod Podge so that it won't get dirty or anything. And yay! This is what I'm gonna do for my 2020 December daily. It's an eight by nine, so that's, that's different. I guess like an eight by eight. The Holly Jolly Simple Stories 12 by 12 collection kit for 11.99. I would've liked $9.99, I'm just saying. I love the colors. I love that it has some pink in there and the red is not super, super bright. Let me pause you for a second and okay. open it. First, we have here the cardstock stickers and the reason why I got them because look, cookies. <laughs> and also because of the pinks. It is real heavy with Santa, but not too too crazy where all it is is just about santa even the phrases are not all about santa so still still cute look at that look christmas candy yes oh and the rolling pin yes i really got it because of the christmas cookie and then this floral here i'm not really sure what this one's called i think they're just by numbers with a four by six cut apart. I don't really know what to do with these because I don't really have um, four by six vertical. Cute Christmas countdown, it says. This diagonal stripe in green. See how the um, color palette is just different. It's just different. And we have a dark stripe, almost maroon diagonal stripe, and a three by four cut apart. This is pretty. I like that. Very pretty. And in the back, you have your 2x2, which uh, some cool stories does a lot. Pretty much in the direction, I think. They call it 25, but... No um, other numbers, so... If you're doing a December daily, I don't know if you can do something like this. Unless you do your own numbers, you can have, you know, some thickers and put them on top. And have this as your background piece. We have some ornaments here on the blue background. Bright, bright. That's just a little 
for you. Mm-hmm. Sounds like a meal pattern. You look like a meal. <laughs> and then we have the sun back. That's very nice. That's very nice. And we have some. Um, this is not this little goat. Um, what is this called? That's okay. And then back here is called a little friend. And we have some more Christmas cookies and the candy and ornaments and wreaths and trees. Pretty much all the elements. <laughs> if you want. Bits and pieces, 61 pieces. Cheer, jingle, Santa, I know him. <laughs> that would be cute for um, like going to see Santa. Ticket to the Polar Express. I think my sister does like a whole um, Polar Express tour. They watch the movie, get in their pajamas, real cute. Rocking around the Christmas tree, one of my sister's favorite Christmas songs. I have three sisters. Better not pout. I thought it said better not point. I'm like, oh. <laughs> the joy of the season. Good cheer. Love of the pink. Love the pink. Company joy. Peace, love, and joy. Naughty little elf. Tis the season, making a list, checking it twice. That would be good for um, Christmas shopping. Holly jolly, though I do a lot of my Christmas shopping online, so don't really go out to do Christmas shopping. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. That would be good for um, when you're driving around to see neighborhood lights. It's a Wonderful Life, one of my favorite Christmas movies. Here comes Santa Claus. Merry and Bright, Noel, the happiest season of all. Oh, I like just a simple, plain tag so that we can do our own journaling on. Happy holidays, holiday of memories, holiday cheer, dear Santa. Ugly sweater. <laughs> I don't own an ugly sweater. You know, the ugly Christmas sweater parties, I don't, I don't have one. Deck the halls. Baby, all I want for Christmas is you. That's cute for like a date night or something. Comfy, cozy, or we for like a Christmas movie time. Hello, December. That'd be great for the first uh, day of December and your December baby. Twinkling lights. Holiday cheer. Let it snow. Gotta do his best. Yeah. I might not be able to open that one. <sighs> there we go. We have some labels. Is that two? I feel like I've that. There's, I feel like there's two. Yeah. They're just kind of stuck here. Some of those labels, labels, labels. Fa la la la. Circle. Hey, Sia. Peace on Earth. Merry and Bright. The weather outside. The perfect tree. December 25th. The greatest gift of all. Eat, drink, and be merry. 25. Tag. Holiday traditions. Oh, what fun. Snow. Love of family. That's nice. Joy to the world. And again, these were the journal bits. Okay, so that's why there's some blank labels in that one. And then we have the bits and pieces, 58 pieces. Let's open that one up. Okay. Look, that's gingerbread man. Um... Cupcakes, I think that's a cupcake. Or maybe just be good floral. Some floral. So this is just like a regular ephemera pack. Stocking. I like how they're small. The Christmas candy. They're not huge. I love that. Great paper. You need to get a little just a little tip <laughs> from simple stories. Um there's another ginger or a Snowflake Christmas cookie. I can't tell. Is that an apple? 
don't know what that is. Or maybe a berry. Um, some more florals. I think that's the same. Oh, three of the same type of floral. Fa -la -la -la. Some hot cocoa with whip. Holly. Jolly. Another floral. Snow globe. I like snow globe. Some mountains. Some elf feet. <laughs> A little pink house. How cute is that? Some mittens. Little tiny look. See? Yes, we need tiny ephemera. <laughs> This candy cane. I like how the outline, the white outline, a halo is what they call it, I guess, um, is not super, super thick. It's not, doesn't take away. Girl with a whole bunch of presents. A mug. Tree. Another Christmas tree. Cookie. Some more trees. That's cute. Again, I love all the pink. A little moped! My husband is making milkshakes. Everybody's out and about in my house right now. Hot cocoa. Florals. Houses. Some pie. Some Santa. Just merry and cheer. Like a Christmas cake. That's cute. Ooh, ice skates. Oh my gosh, a turkey! Oh, that's. You usually don't see the turkey. I'm not sure what this is supposed to be, but you can totally color the gray part brown and make it like vanilla. You know, for Christmas cookies and stuff. The deer teapot for tea drinkers. Or I'm assuming that's a teapot. Um, which I do like holiday tea. I'm actually going back to Tuesday morning and buying me the holiday tea set. It's like a chai holiday set uh, collection, I mean, and I'm totally gonna get it. Some more cupcake or whatever. A ham! Oh my goodness! This is perfect. How did I not know about this? I'm over here complaining now. There's not enough Christmas collections about baking and. Simple stories came out with one. Y'all need to tell these things. 